I'm Joy Milligan. I'm a professor of law at the University of Virginia School of Law. Um, and I have the special pleasure of getting to be the Ellen Maria Gorison Fellow at the American Academy this fall. I'm spending my time here thinking about what the federal government should do to repair its role in creating the current status quo of racial segregation and inequality in the United States. Uh, we've talked a lot about uh, slavery. We've talked a lot about what states and local government and even private corporations owe for their role in creating systematic systems of subordination, um, beginning with slavery and dating through the present. But we really haven't, it's an oddity of federalism in the United States, but we haven't really explored what the national government, um, which people often think of as kind of the white knight of civil rights, you know, the do-gooders, um, we haven't focused on their kind of background, but very important structural role in creating, uh, in creating kind of the present of racial inequality that we have. And so these institutions that, you know, created our cities, gave them the structure of white suburbs, black and brown inner cities that characterized um, the way U.S. cities developed for much of the 20th century, um, that created these unequal neighborhoods and living patterns, um, and with it, uh, this unequal access to schools, to jobs, to the everyday amenities of life, even to clean water. Um, all of this goes back to some of the structural programs uh, that kind of created the American landscape uh, during the 20th century that the federal government obviously controlled. And so if we can think about, seriously think about, how to undo and repair that damage without undoing and uh, doing away with all of the good that those programs have brought to uh, the United States, um, I think that's kind of the needle that, that we have to thread.